Down below me is one of the most mysterious caves in California. John Bartel here, making a little pit stop at Mercer Caverns. You'll find the entrance to the mysterious caverns just outside the town of Murphy's, hiding under a cropping of bay trees. Okay, watch your head, watch your step. Before descending into the bowels of the cave, tour guide Brandon Ingram warns visitors of the 140 plus steps. We go down 160 feet. Of course, today the steps are a luxury, but when the cave was first discovered by Walter Mercer in 1885, exploring was much different. When he first came in, he just kind of slid down through here. At first, Walter Mercer thought he found an old gold mine that would lead him to riches. Was there ever any gold in here? No gold. No, no gold, gold in the limestone. Instead of mining gold, Walter mined the pockets of tourists by giving 50 cent tours and luring them into the dark cave with ropes and these hand-free candle holders. And because they were moving through here on ropes and ladders, sometimes they needed both of their hands to climb. Mm -hmm. They would carry these in their mouth. <laughs> Thankfully, modern lighting illuminates the cave now, which allows you to see how the limestone cave was carved out by ancient rivers. Water from that river started working its way through the fractures, and over a very long period of time, the water dissolved away a lot of the limestone. Deeper in the cave, you'll see where mineral-rich water formed stalactites and stalagmites, which are millions of years old. And this stalagmite was formed by that stalactite. Did we this this little guy up here created this, this big, big guy. Thing. Yep. Wow. There's all sorts of strange looking geological wonders in the cave, but the strangest wonder of all is actually the air inside the cave. The air that we breathe in here comes up through this area. Where is that air coming from though? We don't know. The further down you go, the smaller it gets, making it extremely dangerous to explore. In fact, Walter Mercer was working on widening a new exit to the cave when his rope broke and he fell 30 feet. Serious neck and back injuries. Never came in the cavern again. His wife took over at that point. He died about 12 years after the fall. Thankfully, the cave is much safer and tourists can make it up and down the 16 stories worth of stairs in about 45 minutes. And when you reach Simon's Thumb here, you know the tour's over. I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads.